Can you hear me? Are you there? I'm here. I'm back. I'm ready to continue. Good. Now that you've begun conditioning, let's return to 2070. After coalescence collapsed, you were trapped in Singapore. With quarantine zones unlocked all over the world, we couldn't raise WA Command. If we were going to escape, we had to improvise. We turned to the 54 Immortals. They were dangerous and unpredictable, but they were no enemy of ours. Hendrix trusted them? What choice did we have? If we wanted out of Singapore, we had to go through the biodomes. We had to go through the Immortals. Getting in was easy. Getting out would be another matter entirely. At the time, the biodomes were the safest place to be. With the outbreak of 2060, the immortals seized the marina and dug in. The biodomes were impenetrable, dead proof. Hendrix had a contact, Danny Lee. He was slimy as I come, but he could get us transport. Not only that, Taylor had beaten us out of the biodomes. And Danny claimed to know where he was heading. They had this information. Danny was convinced Gojulan had info on her central server. They were doing us a solid, really. But that didn't come cheap. They wanted food, water, weapons, reinforcements from the Winslow Accord. We agreed to their terms with no idea if we could honor it. The Immortals were a people of their word and quite efficient in punishing those who did not act the same. Danny was in a bad mood. The Immortals weren't exactly happy to see us. They knew our part in what had happened in Coalescence. Danny went so far as to accuse us of opening the containment zones ourselves. Hendrix persuaded him otherwise. But that didn't change how I felt. We were there. We had our chance to stop Diaz in the server room. You cannot blame yourself for what is out of your control. There were powers in play far greater than your own. Powers with...
I don't know how the undead got in. A forgotten open gate. A child's mistake. A poorly nailed board over a window. It didn't matter. It was spreading fast. We were already outnumbered 20 to 1. The remaining humans scrambling away. Parasites, mutated creatures born out of 6115, were flying towards us. Shipping yard cleared. Cloud Mountain was just ahead. The server room at the top. We had a long climb ahead of us.
happened in the server room? By the time we got there, Gojulan encrypted her hardware, locking us out of the central server. Hendrix stepped in, but we were a few seconds too late. Damage was done. Why did she lock you out? It didn't make any sense. Sure, we weren't on the best of terms, but this wasn't her. Something Hendrix had pulled all the data he could. I hoped it was enough. Our pickup was in position. It's time to get the hell out of here. This wraith telling you. It was like the malfunctioning robot you found in different quarantine zones. 
The kind targeting anything and everything is an enemy. Just like that. Except on a much larger, more deadly scale. And this one was very interested in us. Command had an exit route. Extraction set beyond the swamps. If we crossed the super trees, there were shipping docks where we could commandeer an airboat. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Between the flesh eaters and that wraith eyeing us, the super trees would be no walk in the park. We had to haul ass and stay out of sight. But they weren't our only concern. Winslow Accord picked up chatter ahead. Apparently, we weren't the only humans using the docks to escape. super tree was collapsing. The only safe route to the docks was up. Chatter confirmed the 54 immortals were scrambling to get out of the biodomes through the swamps. the sound of it, they wanted us dead as much as the flesh eaters did. Looked like we were jumping from one bad situation into another.
Hendricks commandeered an airboat and set the autopilot. We had undead on our ass, and more 54i ahead. And that rogue wraith wasn't done with us yet. wouldn't stop this time. The Winslow Accord and CDP had been thrown into chaos. We'd lost Hong Kong, Berlin, and Cairo. And it was just getting started. What would come next? How the world would change? There was no way to be ready for that. Five years. Five long, dark years. Opening the quarantine zones did exactly as we feared, and by 2075, what was a contained situation gave way to anarchy. Humanity's numbers had been reduced to a few hundred mil scattered across the globe. The undead had risen to seven billion. Taylor was in the wind, a faded reminder of our inability to stop Armageddon. There was still a Winslow Accord kill on site ordinance in place, but he was a distant memory. Until the aquifers. We were on a routine bombing run outside Cairo. Our orders were to bomb the dead into the next life. Our target was a Katardis colony. They'd taken over a refinery. It was a well-armed facility protecting them from the dead they worshipped. Top priority was to cut off their comms and leave them in the dark. But first, we had to clear out their defenses. This was a routine sweep. Every time another sympathizer colony sprouted up, we'd squash it back down. As far as we were concerned, we were doing the world a favor.
We moved on the array, but the undead sympathizers weren't going down without a fight. Disabling the comms would take some time. Our support detail dealt with that. I dealt with reinforcements. Station disabled, we had to get back to our bird. Bring it down, we'd be one step closer to eradicating this column. Our support detail needed a few moments to disable the array. Lucky for me, I had more hostiles to keep me occupied.
the comms disabled, we needed to get back in the air. Their comms jammed, the next step was to breach the control room to take back the facility. There was access ahead. I just needed to get through the flooded room in front of me. Our support detail insisted on coming with. When you were swimming, something went wrong. Our DNI. There was a malfunction. What did you see? I. I saw. I was drowning. I, th I thought I heard. This is not your time. Get back up. Do not trust him. Everything is not what it seems. What did you hear? I... nothing. I couldn't make it out. Get... up. Then I woke up. Someone pulled me out of the water. Someone saved me. Saved you? A guardian angel. Someone watching over me. My support detail. She got through somehow, and pulled me out. She brought me back from the brink. She said it wasn't my time. My work wasn't done. I had to stop Taylor. I don't know how she knew. It didn't make any sense. Did you know her? This woman? No. I'd never worked with her before today. And yet she knew about Taylor. She knew about what happened. And you're sure she was there? What? Why? You think I made her up? You yourself said your DNI systems were malfunctioning. What? You gonna tell me I'm crazy next? I know what I saw. I did not make her up. I didn't fucking imagine her. Did she have a name? Of course she had a fucking name. The Guardian Angel. She said... She said her name was Kane. She told me she'd help me get through this. She said we had to move. Control was beyond a server room ahead. If we were going to take the refinery from these dead sympathizers, we needed to clear it out. If we couldn't, we would be on to Plan B. Plan B? Plan bomb this shithole to hell. to breach, but it turns out our enemies planned ahead. The explosion blocked our path. We had to double back. It caught us off guard. But the noise also caught the undead's attention. We regrouped with our allies. That's Egyptian Army Lieutenant Ziad Khalil, friend of ours. He was durable, seasoned. He defended his home through undead wars. 
he wouldn't go down without a fight. What was the plan? Khalil would move on control from the exterior. I'd sweep the dead from the air. Our guardian angel accompanied me. She... She told me the answer to finding Taylor was on this refinery. Why she thought that. How she knew that. It was surreal. When Khalil took the control room, he found something on the security footage. Something we needed to see. Taylor. Mike seeing a ghost. We... we just stumbled upon him. This wasn't just a Cotardis colony. This was Taylor's hideout. They were already evacuating Taylor. We locked down the facility, separating Taylor and his associate, Moretti. Who did you go after? It was too late for Taylor. The Cotardas put him on a VTOL. We'd go after Moretti. Command informed us the kill order was still active. Hendricks didn't like that. But it wasn't his call. How did you feel about it? Five years. Five years after our fuck up, he could fix it. I'd go out and take a shot. gonna get him, we need to take a shortcut. Shortcut? A leap of faith.
listen to her. Trust her. Find Taylor. How was Hendrix coping with the change of plans? He was upset. And why wouldn't he be? Command wanted our friends dead. He wanted to bring Moretti in alive. But that wasn't all, was it? No. Hendrix... Hendrix had been different since Singapore. In what way? Every way. Aggressive. Angry. He was losing perspective. And there... <sighs> Something was just off. I should have known what happened. How could you have known? E even if you had, what could you have done? You seem so certain of his intentions. We all battle inner demons and our choices. Hendrix, Taylor. That whole team rose the ranks together, fought alongside each other. Little did we know one of his friends was watching us. Moretti had locked himself in the security room. The only way in was to cut the power. To do that, we had to overload the generators. Cornered him. What did Maretti say? He said that name, same as Diaz. Demos. He said if I wanted answers, I had to find Damien Bishop, a man we both knew from a past mission. Bishop could help stop Demos. 
But first, I had to kill him. He kept saying, this isn't me. This isn't me. He kept saying, Damus made him do it. So I granted his last request. I killed him as he asked. I did our job. It didn't sit with Hendrix. Can you blame him for his outburst? Hendrix was pissed because Moretti was our link to finding Taylor. A link I'd just severed and split open on a spike. And the guilt I carried all those years that I channeled inward, Hendrix channeled outward. At me. This was our chance to fix our mistake, and I fucked that up. Hendrix said I may as well have damned the world myself. I'd had enough. I knocked some sense into him. Sometimes it was the only way to get through. I told him what Moretti had told me about Bishop, Deimos, whoever the hell he was. The mention of Bishop got Hendrix's attention. Last we saw him was back in 65, 10 years ago in Ethiopia. How Bishop knew Deimos, we hadn't a clue. But we'd figure this shit out, and we'd do it together. But right then, we had bigger problems. The Egyptian army couldn't hold the refinery. Plan bomb this shithole to hell was a go. We had to get out of there. Now! This bishop that Moretti mentioned? Damien Bishop, the man who found the cure. A vaccination to make 6115 victims human again. A cure? Did it work? It should have. 